Hello everyone, we are playing on luchess.org and uh, yeah, seems like it's gonna be the pure defense so let's go with a4 here, preventing b5 and okay, he wants to go with his knight to b4 so probably not the best idea to put my bishop here but on the other hand, he's gonna go with d5 at some point in this system, so I thought my bishop would be in a good square on d3, but he went for d5 for e5, so let's go back. Now, maybe I'll bring my rook to d1, then try to exchange his dark squared bishop, and then his center will be a bit shaky. I think so. Let's try. Uh, the pawn isn't hanging after ED. I can take with my bishop, so my rook will defend this pawn. And okay, we're a bit short on time, so let's play a bit faster. Yeah, he goes for this. No C5 isn't a threat. I could take here, and his squares would be weak. Here maybe, okay, this pawn is hanging, it's a bit annoying. <clears throat> maybe just bringing my bishop here to defend it, and also it's active, maybe knight g5 will come at some point, so... He wants to exchange it, this is why. Let's try e5. It's a bit something funny at least. I want to take with my bishop here. And uh, yeah, it definitely was not the greatest idea in the position, but at the same time I can create some weaknesses in his camp. I want to take on e6 then, and he will have to take with a pawn sooner or later. So <clears throat> then I'm gonna go with my knight to e4 and uh, yeah it seems to be a nice position for me I can penetrate along the d5 at some point so it looks at least interesting he can take here because of c3 by the way now I have to figure out how to uh, Okay, it's interesting. He wants to go with the rook d8 anyway. Um, but maybe just exchanging queens. Not a great idea because his king was a bit vulnerable. But now I have my rook on the very active square. Let's protect the pawn. And now maybe knight d4 threatening to take one of his pawns. So if c5 I can take and there are no ideas for him how to develop the initiative. So let's... Okay, I'm a pawn up now. And it seems like he has no real counterplay here. I also think I shouldn't exchange uh, my knight. Maybe just going with knight a7. Oh, okay, I missed this. Not great. Now I have to <clears throat> try to collect some of his pawns. And uh, yeah, let's not miss anything like this at some point. So the position is. My position is much better, I think. Because his king is still vulnerable. And maybe I will go with my knight to b5 now. I'm gonna go here. Um, this one. This one I don't think it's good. But why? Check. Another check. And uh, let's exchange.
Okay, so he has some weaknesses in his camp, and also I have this pawn, so it, it makes my position much better. <clears throat> Although seems like I misplayed it a bit, just doesn't look great what I'm doing. But I just have no much time to think, and uh, this is the point here. But okay, now I am definitely winning because his king is cut off. Let's. Oh, okay. Uh, he's flagging me. He's flagging me. I'm so so. Let's try to promove at least one move in a row. Um, okay, I won this game, and I think it was very nice one. So I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next videos.